Conversion tracking is an easy and accurate way to measure the business impact of your LinkedIn advertising. Using conversion tracking, you can measure valuable actions that members take after engaging with your ads, like signing up for a webinar, downloading an ebook, or making a purchase on your website. With LinkedIn's analytics, you can track how many conversions or leads you're getting from your ads, as well as the ROI of your ad spend. In the process, you can understand and optimize the value you're getting from your LinkedIn campaigns. To get started, click on Conversion Tracking at the top of LinkedIn Campaign Manager. First, enter the domain where you want to track conversions. You can enter more domains later on. Once you've entered your domain, Campaign Manager will generate an insight tag. Before you can start tracking conversions, you'll need to install the LinkedIn Insight tag on your website. The Insight tag is a piece of lightweight JavaScript code that helps LinkedIn unlock valuable insights about visitors to your website, including who's converting. This is the only tag that your account will ever need to track conversions on all of your LinkedIn campaigns. In fact, if you already have an Insight tag on your website, you can use that same tag for your upcoming campaigns. There's no need to create a new one in this step. Add the Insight tag to your website's global footer, or if you don't directly manage your website, simply email the code to your site administrator. In either case, add the tag to the same domain that you specified in the previous step. Once you've added the Insight tag to your site, your domain status should appear as verified. This means the Insight tag is working properly and is ready to track conversions. Below your domain status, you'll see an option to enter more domains. You should enter any domain where you plan to track conversions. Make sure you've properly added the Insight tag to these domains. Now that you've set up your domains and the LinkedIn Insight tag, it's time to create your conversion actions. A conversion action is a rule. It tells LinkedIn's Campaign Manager platform how and when to record a member action as a conversion. For example, you may want to create an action that defines a webinar signup as a conversion. Conversion actions are permanently saved in your account, so you can use them on any campaigns you are running, now or in the future. Here's how a conversion action works. When a prospect interacts with your ad, the prospect may land on your site. Here, the LinkedIn Insight tag begins recording their activity. If they take a desired action, say, filling out a form, the prospect will be greeted with a thank you page. At this point, the LinkedIn Insight tag fires, and the member is registered as a conversion in Campaign Manager. Here are a couple tips for setting up your tag and your actions to make sure that you can accurately record conversions in Campaign Manager. First, ensure that you've tagged your entire site, including any thank you pages on your domain. The easiest way to do this, as noted earlier, is by adding your Insight tag to the site's global footer, right before the body tag. Second, if you're trying to record a conversion from a form fill on your website, then the URL of your thank you page should be what you ultimately enter in the URL field when you create your conversion action. This will let Campaign Manager record a conversion when a member hits that thank you page, signaling that they've successfully filled out your form. First, enter a name for your conversion action. This is not visible to your audience, it's simply an internal way for you to keep track of the action in Campaign Manager. Next, select the conversion type. Think of this as a label that makes it easier to manage this and other conversion actions you'll create in Campaign Manager. Next, enter your conversion value. Choose a number that reflects how much a conversion is worth to your business. For example, let's say you're creating a conversion action to track when prospects sign up for a webinar. You may know that a webinar sign up is worth $100 to your business. In that case, enter a value of 100. Next, enter the URL of the page where you plan to track conversions. For example, you may want to track conversions whenever someone arrives at a thank you page after submitting a form or downloading a white paper. In that case, you should enter the URL of your thank you page. You can add as many URLs as you want to a conversion action. Finally, select the domain or website where you plan to track conversions. The website you select here should have the same domain as the URL you entered below. We're almost ready to add our conversion actions to a LinkedIn campaign. But before we do, let's make sure the conversion actions we plan to use on that campaign are showing up as active. An active status means that your conversion action is working properly and is ready to start recording conversions from your website. Usually, it takes about 60 minutes for your conversion status to register as active. You can get help with your action status by visiting our help center at help.linkedin.com. Now it's time to add your conversion actions to a LinkedIn campaign. You can add as many conversion actions as you like to a single campaign. There are two ways to add conversion actions to a campaign. You could add them to a new campaign, or you could add them to a campaign that's already running. 
You can add a conversion to an ongoing campaign in your campaign settings. Once you add conversion tracking, LinkedIn will begin recording conversions from your campaigns. You can track the number of conversions you're getting at the campaign level or at the ad level. You can track the average cost of the conversions you're driving as well as your conversion rate. You can even measure your return on ad spend to understand the value your campaigns are creating for your business. Finally, use your campaign manager analytics to understand which audiences are driving the most conversions on your website. You can measure conversions based on the industry, seniority, job function, company size, and other relevant attributes of your target audience. This helps you see what sorts of professionals are converting, and you can use that information to optimize your targeting. This will help you improve conversion performance and the ROI of your LinkedIn advertising. 